Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N R Kishwani. I have been solving math problems out of this book here, practicing to take the GRE, the general test, 10th edition. If you do not own this book already, and if you're thinking about studying for the GRE, it's important that you buy this book immediately. That's where you're going to find the real exam to practice for the, for the test. The problem that I'm about to solve is the one that you're going to find on page number 136, question number 11. QC stands for quantitative comparison number 11. Let's take a look at it. Number 11. Before I actually solve this problem that is given to us in number 11, let me do something different here for a second. I want you to take a look at this picture here. There's a circle here, and inside the circle we have a triangle that is given to us like this. And this is the center of the circle. I'll tell you what, that's, it was too early to do that. Yeah. It was too early to do that. What I want you to compare, column A, column B, So I'm telling you, uh, this is triangle ABC, ABC. What I want you to compare is the area of the triangle ABC versus 25. What can you tell me? How does one find the area of a triangle? Area of the triangle is one half base times height. This is the base here, let's call it x to y for this one. This is the base and the height is going to be this. This You have to know this distance. This is the height of the triangle. That's what height means. Height means you take the highest distance, highest point of the picture and you ask yourself how high is it from the base. So for this particular triangle, it's going to be the height is going to be, let's call it a to b. This is going to be the height. If the triangle looked like this, the height would have been this. This is the height and you have to know that otherwise you cannot figure out the area. And the ordinary triangle and a simple right angle triangle is very simple because the height, height in fact, height is in fact the side here. What is the height of this triangle? The height of this triangle is this. And we don't know the distance. Let's call it, let's call it D and I'm going to call the center P. Do we know the distance uh, CD? No, we do not. We, there is no way of knowing the CD. So how am I supposed to figure out the area of the triangle ABC if I do not know the height of the triangle? Let me repeat the question one more time. How am I supposed to figure out the area of the triangle ABC if I do not know the height of the triangle? If you ask yourself that question, then you are still, then you are still missing the point of these questions. You are still missing the point of this quantitative comparison. These are called quantitative comparison. They are not called quantitative computation. Nobody is asking you to figure out the area of the triangle. That is not what we are being asked. All we are being asked is, are you able to tell me, are you, are you quick enough to tell me whether the area of this triangle more than, less than, or equal to 25? And that can be done. How can we do that? Well, let's take a look. The height here, C to D, whatever that is, here's the center of the circle. So this distance here, let's call it P to Q. What does P to Q represent? P to Q, let me erase all of this extra part here. P to Q is the radius. And since you are told, oh, I have not told you the, uh, the diameter yet, have I? Oh, actually I did, I think I raised it. A to B, I forgot to tell you this thing. A to B, the diameter is 10. If A to B, the diameter is 10, then P to Q represents the radius, which is 5. Now, what can you tell me about distance C to D? How much is the distance C to D? And again, if you're sitting there asking yourself, how much is the distance C to D, you're still missing the point. The question is not how much it is. The question is, is it more than, less than, or equal to 5? It's of course, it's less than 5. The height of this triangle, whatever it is, is less than 5 because the highest point of the, uh, highest point of the triangle is on the side. It's not right at the 90 degrees. So therefore, the area of the triangle is 1 half base, which is a to B, which is 10, times the height, whatever that is, is less than 5. 
10 times, this is how you write less than five. Something less than five, this is how you write in the exam. If something is more than five, you're gonna write it like this, five with a plus sign on the top. 10 times something less than five is gonna be something less than 50, and half of that is gonna be something less than 25. On the other column, I have 25. So here, the area of the triangle, whatever that is, the area of the triangle is something less than 25. What it is exactly, I do not know. I do not care to know. Nobody's asking me for that. All I have to figure out is whether it's more than or less than 25, which we have just done. It is less than 25. And therefore, the answer is B. That's all. That's all. Now I'm gonna, now I'm gonna change the question a little bit. And I'm gonna put it in a different color. I'm gonna change the question a little bit. Let's suppose that instead of, instead of 25, you had given, instead of 25, the quantity that was given to you was 20. Then what would have been the answer? If the quantity that was given to you in column B was 20, and all we know, all we can tell for certain is that the area of this triangle, whatever it is, is less than 25, but we cannot tell how much less than 25 because we don't know where the point C is. The triangle may look like this, triangle may look like this, or triangle may, may look like, like, like this. We don't know where C is. If C might be down here all the way, the height is gonna be very little. If the C is way over here, the height is gonna be very little. It's gonna have a very small area. All we can tell is that it's less than 25, but we cannot tell anything more than that. In which case, had this quantity been 20 instead of 25, the answer would have been D. Because we cannot compare. All we know is less than 25. We are asked to compare it with 20. It could be more than 20. It could be less than 20. Because all I know is that it is less than 25. Now let's do the problem that is given to us. I'm gonna very, very quickly go in the back of the I'm going to very quickly go in the back and see how much time I've taken so far. Oh boy, I'm seven minutes into it, so I have to wrap it up very quickly. Let's take a look at the problem. So now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take this, I'm going to take this uh, circle that I have, I'm going to pick it up, and I'm going to rotate it counterclockwise. I'm going to rotate this counterclockwise or anticlockwise 90 degrees. 90 degrees. So this line is going to become like that. Watch what happens. See this triangle? I'm, I picked it up and I rotated it. Nothing has changed. It's still the height of this triangle is less than 5. They should line up here. Height of this triangle is also less than 5 because the 5 would have been here. From here to the center, this distance here, which I call PQ, I'm going to call the same PQ. That PQ is 5 because I'm told that the diameter in this picture, somewhere we are told the diameter, the diameter of the circle is 10. Which I'm calling AB here. So, if P to Q is 5, then this distance from here to here, whatever that is, which I've been calling C to D, so I'm going to keep calling it C to D, then has to be less than 5. This triangle that you see there, there is my C, and here is my A and B. That A, B, C triangle is the same exact thing as A, B, C. It's just, it's just been rotated. You can rotate it, uh, you can rotate it anti-clockwise, or you can rotate it clockwise. This is, a, this is other half, this is other half. And we just established that the area of this triangle ABC is less than 25. Area of this triangle is less than 25. And therefore the area of the whole thing together, all I can tell for sure that it is, the area of this thing is less than 50. And that's all I can tell. And the other column I have 40. Area of the quadrilateral, whatever that they're giving you, ABCD. My notations have been messed up. The, the, the notation that they use there for ABCD is different than what I'm using here. Don't worry about this. This area of the quadrilateral ABC, I already used the D there, right here. I'm going to call it E. ABCE is whatever the area is, area of that thing is less than 50. Or if you want to write it differently, you're going to say that area of A, B, C, E is equal to something less than 50. But some, simply telling me that it's something less than 50 does not tell me how it compares with 40. It could be 45, it could be 41, it could be 38. I can't tell how it compares with 40. Therefore, the answer is D. That's all. 
That's all. Again, let me look at the time. All right, I'm going to wrap it up. Thank you again. If you wish to hire me for personal private tutoring, or if you hire, need to get hold of me for because you want to buy the solution manuals to this problem, in either case, go to my website at www.prepforgre.com and send me an email. All right. Thank you.